Hey there, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with the Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 4th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, where we look at space weather, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Having a look at the last 48 hours on our sun, pretty active as we did show last night. No new sun events have been thwarted our way. But the outgoing positions as well, Earth facing, are quite active. Looking at incoming imagery here, Earth to scale there a little bit. Big cresting sunspot on the right hand side. Plasma filament lifting on the left, which means south. Looking at outgoing imagery here, that large C class flare. Earth facing and as well in an outgoing position, another shot was taken. You can see in the last image there, very large CME, but not in an earth facing position. Definitely keeping an eye on these regions here as they come into the earth facing view. Quick look here at a multi spectrum. Pretty sizable CME coming out in the outgoing position. Luckily, that was not Earth-facing. Looking at 171 angstroms here. No new coronal holes to talk about. Nor cresting. But we will be watching for developments in the next 48 hours. Having a quick look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. As you can see, this is yesterday's event shot right at Mercury. No new events heading our way. A quick look at Alaska 2, showing all of the events since February 1st. This is the last four days Alaska 2 imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. And there is today's new flare, C-class solar flare in an outgoing position. And as well, a closer look there at the Earth-facing position. Event that we had in on the second. That is the most recent imagery coming from Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking at our sun, real-time solar wind, we are sitting at about 450 kilometers per, or 490 kilometers per second after being jumped up over 570 through the space weather event that we expected, the solar flare. So definitely an active 48 hours. Looking at the solar flare, just recently another C-class, and we are in a G1 magnetic storm. And this is where it will be shining its brightest. Tonight, this is the Aurora forecast for the next 24 hours into tomorrow for parts of Northern Europe and Russia. And tonight, definitely going to be seeing some northern lights pretty much from northern Ontario and westward across Canada. So a pretty big space weather event that we are going through right now. And these models are definitely showing the activity. Looking at the highest frequency affected. Solar X-ray flux. Heightened energy over the Pacific and as well uh, Central America. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 12 Quality of 6.9, amplitude of 12. Now let's have a quick look at earthquakes here for the last 24 hours. Starting out here with a pretty sizable 6.3 earthquake that struck the southeast Indian Ridge, southwest coast of Australia. Continuing earthquakes through the Kermadec Islands, largest through the region being a 5.0, and there were two of them. And just west there, Port Vila, Vanuatu, 4.9. 
Activity continuing at Timor Leste. And as well, a 5.2 earthquake strikes just southeast of Krakatoa volcano. And I just posted yesterday that Krakatoa has raised its alert level. I'm sure it will be rumbling even more now with that 5.2. A couple old earthquakes here from yesterday 4.9, 4.8, Afghanistan. As well, Alaska, seeing a 5.4 late last night, just before midnight striking. Tsunami watch was put out. Also looking over Hawaii, increased activity through the region. Napopo, Hawaii, 3.1. Let's have a quick look at USGS at all the earthquakes across the island. Looking at about 63 in total across the island, half of them. In Hanano, Napopo, Mauna Loa. So could Mauna Loa be waking up? We shall see. But interesting, I wanted to note here as well, minor activity all around St. Helens Volcano. USGS reporting about five earthquakes in the region. So definitely going to be keeping an eye on satellite imagery over the region and as well monitoring earthquakes around St. Helens as this is new activity today, heightened activity around St. Helens. As well, just north, there was an explosion reported as well. Not a quarry explosion. Stay safe, stay aware, prepared. Having a look across North America, 4.0 late last night. As reported, 2.5 here, Oklahoma. As well, notable 2.9 here in Gorham, New Hampshire. And minor activity through Dominican Republic. Costa Rica, rocking a 4.8. And South America, pretty active today as well, into Argentina. 4.6, the largest through the region. But still, pretty quiet for large earthquakes. We're sitting at about 320 earthquakes across the USGS map. Having a quick look here at the last seven days across the world for activity. Definitely seeing a lot of activity down in Kermadex and as well Alaska. And just recently Increased activity through Hawaii. Dominican Republic earthquakes are picking up. Puerto Rico. And we've seen two 6.0 and greater earthquakes the last seven days. Or sorry, three of them. Large 6.5 Kermadex, 6.3 East Indian Ridge, and as well... 6.4 Peru. Having a look here at Satellite Imagery Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes as well. Looking at Sangue and Ecuador. 6.3 there, South Indi East Indian Ridge. Santa Maria, Guatemala. There are more flood alerts and storm alerts more than anything right now. 103 active alerts with the disaster center. Fuego, Guatemala, Sabincaya in Peru, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Nevadas de Chilean, Colombia. So that's about eight volcanoes getting updated today and another alert going out for Krakatoa. Looking satellite imagery across the world. Tornado popped down in Alabama through the United States. With that large system, dropping a lot of snow, sleet, rain, freezing rain. Overlooking the Pacific and over into the Indian Ocean. Tropical Cyclone Batsarai. Still a Category 3, making landfall tonight. So heads up Madagascar as this cyclone is going to be racing across your country. Quick look here at satellite imagery of Bitsari. 
as it just grazed both Reunion, Reunion Island and as well Mauritius and is now heading for the coast of Madagascar as a Category 3 cyclone. As well, another one there, Tropical Cyclone number 10, just east of Batsarai. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide, starting out here. Home base, Ontario. Very cold temperatures right now. Deep freeze is on, but it will be warming up in the long-range forecast and as well, clear skies. Alberta Clipper moving into northern Ontario Sunday into Monday. We'll bring some flurries across Ontario, mostly through northern parts, off the lakes, snow squalls. As well, watching this system that raced across the United States, dropping a tornado. Long-range forecast showing that crashing straight into Iceland. As well, we've got another nor'easter here developing for the Atlantic provinces. Wednesday into Thursday. You do have a winter storm on your doorstep for Newfoundland and the Atlantic provinces. Mostly dry across the U.S. this week. Big high pressure ridge building in. And as well, mild temperatures still forecast here for Alberta and Saskatchewan. This week above seasonal. But the big February freeze is coming still. Stay tuned at the polar vortex to give you an update in the next video. Having a look over Europe, very big winter storm that on your doorstep, eastern parts and heading into central. But then watch for the United Kingdom as this big system that came from the United States will be heading in to the United Kingdom. The long range forecast for Thursday, Friday should be interesting. Other than that, high pressure ridge building in for western parts. Central, you do have a low heading into Mediterranean. That will bring heavy snow to Greece and as well parts of Turkey, higher elevations, overlooking Southeast Asia. Still got that low heading out of the Mongolian mountains. Will bring rain south of the system and snow north through China for the Olympics. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia. Daily evaporation rains will be heavy towards Tuesday and Wednesday. Watch for torrential downpours. Overlooking Australia. Looks like that low has finally left the country. High pressure ridge building in. Low pressure system here. Not yet named a tropical cyclone but most likely will die out. Overlooking the Pacific. Pretty big systems crashing into Alaska right now. As well, you get a sneaky low here heading eastward towards the Gulf of Mexico, or sorry, the Gulf of California. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through Paraguay, Bolivia, and as well along the border with Brazil, Tuesday into Wednesday. Overlooking Africa, hot and dry northward, southward, still seeing a lot of rain, a lot of moisture. Especially now coming with Batsarai, waves of moisture being thrown over to Mozambique. So tropical cyclone Batsarai looks like it'll cross land by Monday and then head straight southward. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major lows that are spinning across our planet. I'm going to thank you all for tuning in today. Much love to everybody, and I thank you all for joining this amazing journey as we go through some major changes on our planet. Stay tuned for the next video from Daily Events Worldwide, as it will be giving you an update on our world and how much it's changed. And how so? Thanks for watching again. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye bye now.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.